I've got a Barbetta uh, Model 3200 amplifier that I'm going to check out and attempt to repair. Um, the complaints of this uh, amplifier are that the uh, signal is dropping in and out. So first of all, I'm gonna, the inputs are on the back, so I'm going to turn it around. And uh, I'm going to plug a signal source into some of the inputs here. It's got inputs one through four here, and you turn it on. See that that one's uh, intermittent. That one's not as bad. That one drops out completely. That one's not as bad. Um, Let's check the pots uh, are, are scratchy. These are EQ pots, the bass, the mid, and the treble, and uh, they're a bit scratchy also. So it seems that uh, there's some problems with the jacks in the pots, so we're going to take this back panel off and and take a look and see if we can fix that. Okay, I'm uh, removing the back panel here with the electronics on it, getting it out where we can work on it, and I'm going to leave these wires that are attached to the speaker in the units inside there attached so that just save myself some some work here. Now these are the um, the four pots that are scratchy here on the back panel, the volume and the three EQ pots. And uh, the first thing we're going to do is to, to clean those. And we're going to use a contact cleaner with lubricant inside of it, which is for cleaning uh, potentiometers. So what we're going to do is just spray some of the cleaner into the opening down at the bottom, like that, and then exercise the pot a little bit to, uh, to work that cleaner in. Using the same procedure, we'll go through and do the other three pots. Spray a little cleaner in. Work them back and forth several times to clean those pots up. Okay, and that should uh, that should clean those up. What I do sometimes is just go through and do them all again, just to make sure they're nice and clean. Now, as for these uh, jacks that are mounted on the bottom of the board here, they're a little more difficult to get to, and I actually think that we can clean those from the outside of the unit. So, what I'm going to do, rather than trying to clean them uh, back here in the back, is I'm going to show you how I would uh, clean those from the front of the panel. So now we're going to take it and uh, Put it back into the back of the cabinet and put a couple of screws back in and then test the unit. Okay, I've got the panel back in the back of the cabinet and I've put it in with three of the eight screws um, just so that we can do some testing on it and if there's something else wrong with it uh, by putting it in, putting it back together with just the three screws, it'll save me some time if I have to, have to take it back apart. Um, what we have left to do is we've cleaned the pots. Now we want to clean these uh, jacks that were uh, intermittent. And what we do is I'm going to use uh, some cleaner this time that does not have lubricant in it. It's just a, uh, a plain electronics contact cleaner. And I'm going to spray some cleaner into three of the jacks and then work the plug in, any plug in several times just to make some mechanical contact with it. And then I'll do the last four. I do three just because uh, the cleaner dries rather rapidly so I don't want, to, I want it to be wet while I'm doing this. OK, 
Okay, and that may actually solve the problem. If not, we could go back through there and do it again. And uh, if it doesn't, then we would have to take it apart and look at the jacks from the inside and maybe spray some cleaner directly onto the contacts from the inside. Or if the jacks are damaged in some way, we might have to replace uh, one or more of those. So um, while we did the work with the panel out, we had the power, we had the unit turned off and the power disconnected. Obviously, you do not want to be working inside the unit with the power on. But now that we have it back together, we've got the uh, unit plugged up and turn the power back on. And we'll try these uh, inputs. First of all, the master pot sounds nice and clean. Number one's good. Number two's good. Three's good. Four is good. And uh, while we got it plugged into four, let's try the EQs. They're not intermittent anymore. They work nice and smooth. We have a line out jack here that we could we could test also, but uh, I'm sure they're good. So this is an example of um, kind of a simple repair, but a very common uh, problem that occurs in amplifiers not only of this type but of guitar amps bass amps this is a actually a keyboard amp and uh, the pots being dirty causing it to be intermittent and the jacks also causing it to be intermittent and uh, a quick way to solve the problem so i hope this video has been helpful to you and uh, be sure and check out some of our other amp repair videos